As we can notice, most three cushion billiard points are scored after hitting a corner. So learning how to get to the corners with precision is of paramount importance in the game of three cushion billiards. Once we know how to get to the corners with certainty, it becomes fairly easier to calculate how to hit before or after the corner. The following area objective is to reinforce your self-confidence in the application of billiard systems. You must believe in what you're doing. The main idea is for you to know that systems do work and you'll find that out in just a few minutes. Let's keep on learning about the easiest system any billiard player can ever come across. We have seen how hitting from diamond to diamond in a straight line takes us to the same point every time. We will apply the same principle of hitting the cue ball without English, but to expand our system knowledge, we will now aim the cue ball at an angle. To make things easier, we will start by assigning values or numbers to the diamonds on the rails. We will start with zero at one end of the table and we'll move up towards the other end until we reach the corner. When we reach the other end, we will have assigned values from zero to eight. This means that the billiard table is divided into eight equidistant segments. We will now proceed to assign the same values to the opposite long rail of the table. Once we are done, our diamond system values will look like this, or like this, depending on the way you started your numbering assignment. In most billiard systems, you can assign the diamond values as in our previous examples. The main condition here is that the numbering system assigned to one side of the table must match the other side. Assigning different values might still work for other systems, but for now, it is recommended that you follow the same numbering on both sides of the table to make your calculations easier to handle and according to the system. For our illustration purposes, we will use both numbering systems starting from right to left, and also starting from left to right, depending on the specific example. This basic system is all about getting to the corners from any position on the table. Hitting into the corner every single time from any position on the table may seem very easy to some of you. And it actually is as easy as it looks. But I have asked many players the following question. How will you get to the corner from this position? Or, in other words, what will be your hit point on the opposite rail to get you into the corner? I have gotten a few different answers. I will hit around here. Or, 
around here with a little English. Or maybe here with reverse. The truth is that all answers may have been right but not certain. Getting precisely to the corner from every position on the table every single time is the immediate objective of this system. To make things easy, we will divide the table into small areas so we don't have to worry about learning the whole table right from the very beginning. We will start at one side of the table and as we master the area, we will move right into the next section until we cover the complete table. Our first exercise will take only a very small area. We will call it section number one. The reason for our name is very obvious. We will work only in the area that extends from the corner to the first diamond or to the diamond next to the corner along the long rail. Since we won't be using the rest of the table at all, the rest of the table will be blacked out. Let's try shooting into half the distance between the imaginary diamond on the corner and what we have just called diamond one, or the first diamond from the corner. We said the imaginary diamond on the corner because most billiard tables on the market do not include a diamond in the corner. Instead, this point on the table has always been considered and called the corner. We must understand that the correct position of the corner diamond is at the junction point of the adjacent rail and not at the corner itself. This is particularly important when shooting through the corner diamond. In this case, the hit point shall be at the point where the arrow touches the cushion, as demonstrated in this diagram. If the diamond position will be right in the corner, the previous example and nevertheless the hit point will look like this. For the purpose and proper understanding of this system, we will call this diamond the corner. Let's observe what happens if we shoot from diamond 1 right in front of the half diamond point across the table with a soft hit or with just enough speed to get to our target corner. Let's try the shot again and again. It looks like it will always go to the corner. The truth is that even if we shoot the shot one million times, the result will always be the same or very, very close to the same. <laughs> 